What's up guys, Jay here from the Engineer's Guide. So far in this AutoCAD training series, we have covered the Line Tool, Polyline Tool and the Circle Tool. Today in this video, we are going to cover the Rectangle and Polygon Tool. If you have not seen the previous videos, I will drop the link in the description, do check that out. Before we get started, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of the training videos from the AutoCAD training series. Without further ado, let's dive in. So you can select the rectangle tool by going on the top ribbon or you can use the shortcut key. I would highly recommend using the shortcut T. The shortcut for the rectangle is REC followed by a spacebar. As you can read the, the tool is specifying us to first specify a corner point. So let's say we want to make a, a rectangle starting from center. So as we all know the or uh, coordinates of the center are 0, 0. So let's type in 0. To put Y coordinate, just press tab and then again put 0, press enter. So now we are having a rectangle which is starting from 0, 0. And then you've got to specify the X coordinate, that is the length which is uh, parallel to the red axis, that is the X axis and Y coordinate, the length that is parallel to the green axis. So let's say I want to make a rectangle that is uh, the X centimeter, X side length is 50, tab the Y side length is uh, 25, press enter. So now we are having a rectangle whose length is 50 centimeter, meter, whatever units you have set in and uh, the Y coordinate is 25. So a quick tip, if you want to locate uh, the center point of the rectangle or you want to locate the center point of this length, this line and this line, the easiest way to do is use the line tool. The shortcut is L followed by a space bar and then just hover the tool or hover your and then just hover your cursor over the line and a triangle will appear. The moment triangle appears, it shows that uh, this is the midpoint of the line. So, so this is the midpoint of this line. If you hover uh, the cursor over this line, there it is. Triangle appears over here. So this is the midpoint of this line. Let's say you want to find out the center point. So just hover over this triangle, go down and again try to hover over the this triangle and then come to the center. So automatically you will see an X which basically indicates the center point of uh, the rectangle. This much information is uh, sufficient for the rectangle tool. So we'll dive into the polygon tool. You can select the polygon in the rectangle tab itself. It is the second option polygon. So the moment you select it, you'll see that they want us to specify the number of sides. So polygon basically means any closed shape which is having more than four sides is polygon it can be five six seven eight nine ten up to n so let's say we want a polygon which is of eight sides so press eight and then press enter again then you've got to specify the center let's say i want to make a polygon whose center lies over here and then there are two options inscribed circle and circumscribed about circle so let's just select the first one inscribed in circle select it and then you've got to specify the radius of the circle let's say i want uh, the radius to be 5 so just hit 5 and press enter so now we are having a polygon who's uh, which is having eight sides uh, and the radius of the circle is 5 so let me locate the center point of this uh, polygon so I can show you the difference between uh, circumscribed and inscribed. I can locate the center by using the same knowledge which uh, we learned in uh, locating the center for this particular rectangle. Just use the line command, hover over the line, the moment triangle appears. Just let me make a line over it. Again use the line command, L followed by space bar, select a line. And draw a perpendicular bisector from it. Then there it is. This is the center point of the polygon from the center. So let me draw a circle from the center of the polygon whose radius is five. So if you watched the if you have watched it in the last video, you'll know the shortcut for circle is C followed by space bar. Then you've got to select the center. This is I want to select this as the center. Click on it and then specify the radius. I want the radius to be five. So press five enter so this is basically a circle whose radius is 5 and uh, as you re as you would have remembered that we've used the inscribed polygon so what that means is that this polygon is inscribed in this circle so again let me select polygon tool and uh, 
let uh, the number of sides be eight again press center uh, then again specify the center uh, let this be the center uh, and in this case we'll use the circumscribed about circle so click on it and let us again specify the radius of the circle to be five press five enter so as you can see you'll automatically come to know what's the difference between the inscribed and the circumscribed so this one is the inscribed circle basically inscribed polygon uh, basically the polygon is inscribed in the circle and the outer one is the circumscribed what that means is that uh, the polygon is outside the circle whose radius is 5 cm i think uh, the picture is pretty clear you can see the difference so this so i think this is all you need to know about the rectangle and polygon tool so that's it for today guys if you haven't watched previous videos from this training series do watch them out i'll uh, drop the link in the description and uh, subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching guys thank you